Our David Yeoman's traffic, tracking the temperatures for us. It's melting right now, but we could see more ice on the roads tonight. We still could. Still a couple of slick spots out there. We're hoping that we can hold on to these above freezing temperatures for long enough, though, to melt and dry most of that. The current temperatures out there are above freezing area-wide, and this comes after 18 hours of at or sub-freezing temperatures right here in the Austin metro, currently at 38 degrees. Some folks as warm as the low 40s, but most of us still having a very, very chilly afternoon. Of course, well below average this afternoon, even for the middle of winter. Only reached 37 degrees at ABIA, 40 degrees the high at, at uh, Camp Mabry. And this is after lows this morning that were just bitterly cold in the mid-20s. We'll take you live outside right now to the downtown camera. Look at that one lone little icicle still hanging on there. Matter of fact, as of just 30 minutes ago, this entire lens was still just one big sheath of ice. It finally did melt a bit as that sun came out. Right now, 38 degrees as those clouds are clearing and that winter storm departing central Texas. And the good news for the roadways tonight, we'll get some southwesterly breezes in here that should slow down the dropping of those temperatures. I don't think we'll be uh, any colder than 34 by 10 o'clock, probably near the freezing mark by midnight. A big change, though, is in store for your weekend. We'll have those details coming up. And we got a silver lining as far as the traffic goes for a usually very busy and congested Friday afternoon. Lots of green on our maps, uh, all due to the uh, businesses canceling and schools not being in session today. There are a couple of accidents, one at northbound I-35 at Ben White and another in East Riverside Drive and Wickersham Lane. Here's a live look at US 183 near Breaker where it is very nice and dry and traffic flowing nicely.